What's up guys? In this video we will talk about do you need to be really hard working to be successful and does it help and does it guarantee success? And from my observations after, you know, studying a lot of successful people, my theory is that as a general rule it definitely helps, but and here's the big but, it doesn't guarantee success if you don't use other elements like working smarter and being more strategic. So the best example I can give you is a little story. I met this guy, he works 10 to 12 hours per day at minimum wage jobs. And he has a wife, he has children. And on top of that, for holidays, Christmas, birthdays, he tends to be a little crazy with his money. I think it's crazy. He says it's fine. That's his perception of it. But he will buy like $500 gifts, usually like iPhones or some type of other smartphone for his wife or his relatives. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand that, you know, he's probably like at the rate he's going where he's, you know, he's working hard, but you know, it's very tough to stand out at his work because it's just very menial labor and because he is a bit you know relaxed with how hard he works he I mean he puts in a lot of hours he's not going to become a millionaire and so just working long hours alone does not guarantee success so there's two big lessons from that the first is you have to think smarter, more strategically. Maybe you can start a side business. Maybe you can find other ways of making more money. You can't just you know, spend years as uh, this man did, just plugging away at the same thing and not even really questioning or you know, kind of resigned to his fate. And any type of guidance or advice just goes, out, goes in one ear and out the other. So that's an example of how working longer hours alone doesn't do much and then the second lesson from that of course is that there's a difference between working effectively and efficiently versus just working long hours and a lot of people uh, and I've seen this I have been in uh, a startup community environment with a startup company and basically they literally just like some of them love showing off that they're working long hours. But then when you just like, when I see if they're actually doing effective, practical, useful, efficient work that they should be doing that's important, it's usually just like random tasks here and there. And because of that, the person who's more efficient wins out. So a great illustration of this is like, Let's say you, your goal is to build a house with bricks. Uh, so one guy is really efficient and he act, he's actually stacking bricks. But the other guy is just pretty much, you know, getting coffee one day and then the next day putting brick building on his Google Calendar and doing all these other tasks that are related but not actually building the house and they never get around to actually even touching a brick guess who wins out so long story short you have to be effective efficient and if you work long hours on top of that that's when you really succeed and that is uh, when you see successful people actually get results from working longer hours and working harder An example would be Elon Musk he's very strategic and smart with what he focuses on and guess what happens uh, he says that he works twice as long at least as his competitors and that's why his companies get twice as much done in half the time and that's why his companies were able to accomplish things in half a year that other companies that were his competitors took him at, at least a year to do and of course there's finally the, the best example of a work ethic a holic a workaholic is uh, Will Smith um, and this guy is just ridiculous and he said in many interviews that uh, the only trait that he has found that has differentiated him was his sickening work ethic and basically he, he would work through lunch, work through dinner, work while you slept and just keep working and he just kept doing that until he succeeded.
but when you look behind it he was being very efficient with his time as well uh, and strategic he wasn't just working hard doing random tasks uh, at a random job with no growth potential he was he chose a great career that he loved and that had tremendous potential if you put in the effort which was acting and of course as you know now he's making millions of dollars and he's one of the most famous actors in the world and of course there's many other examples Arnold Schwarzenegger did something very similar he literally worked the whole day then took acting classes at night slept like four hours a day and uh, pretty much did that for years and years even though everyone told him he would never succeed because of his foreign last name which was weird and bizarre and long as well as the fact that he was a foreigner with a weird accent but he didn't listen and he succeeded now of course are these guarantees of success even if you're efficient effective and you work long hours uh, unfortunately no because again a lot of people can do that nowadays especially in America hard work is not uh, that's rare in highly competitive industries maybe in less competitive industries it is but uh, if you're talking like um, Hollywood there are people who will work night in and night out so then that's where you have to put in other things to, to, to push the levers in your favor and that's all the other stuff that I talk about you know there's uh, goal setting writing down your goals visualizing blah 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 but thanks for watching hopefully it helped and hopefully I encourage you.